What up, what up? What's going on, guys? Your boy Jazz. Welcome back to another Madden 25 team play. We're on the left with the Eagles going up against the team on the right with the Bengals. If you look, we got me. We got Chunky, who's the greatest team play running back of all time. And we got that bum prospect, who's an absolute bum. If you remember anything from this video, remember that prospect is a bum. Remember that. All right. So, um, you guys uh, saw the team play a couple. Uh, it's a fumble. A couple days ago, and you guys said you really enjoyed it. That you know something different is kind of cool to see. Uh, right there, bam! Prospect got disconnected, and this happens quite often with team play. Look at Chunky bringing it into the end zone. First time he touches the ball. Chunky is the real MVP, baby. Um, it happens quite often. Rarely do you finish a game. You know, 3v3, I mean, that's how you start the game, and rarely does it finish that way. I've even been disconnected a couple times. You see, one of their guys got disconnected. So now it's a two-on-two, -two, and it makes it a little difficult because Chunky went ahead and chose for his position to be running back instead of any. And because he's running back, he cannot control any wide receiver. He can only control the running back. So if I come out in like a four wide pass or whatever, he can't switch to the Sean Jackson. No, you see, he can only control the running back. So that can make it a little difficult when it's trying to pass the ball. And uh, I don't even think I'm able to call hot routes at that either. So, um, but you know, we're trying to give him the ball as much as possible. Again, only rule is that we don't kick field goals until the fourth quarter. Right here, we try to go towards the back of the end zone. And it gets tough when you're in this side of the of the area you know what i mean when you're on um you know getting close to the end zone and you're like in the red zone it, it gets tough that's where the no field goal rule in effect can definitely cause a little bit of issues because uh, right there he just hits us with that stutter step just destroyed us uh it can get tough moving the ball a little bit right there but uh you know nonetheless man great run right here and they end up tying up the game right here seven to seven so hopefully we can go on ahead and, and move the ball downfield now again when when i play team play what i like to do is give the ball to the user as much as possible you know even if that bum prospect is you know triple teamed i'm still trying to give him the ball instead of throwing it to the computer i don't want to throw it to the computer you know what i mean i want to i want to get the users involved i want to be able to throw it to my wide receivers i want to be able to throw it to my running backs I want to hand the ball off to my running backs you know what i mean like even right here, even when I throw it to a computer, Chunky still can't even switch in and, you know, take after, I mean, take the, the wide receiver after the run. You know what I mean? So, uh, it, it makes it a little difficult. I'd much rather have um, my wide receiver and not have a running back than have a running back and not have a wide receiver. Unless my running back is the biblical Chunky and the receiver that loses that bum prospect. So, 7-7 uh, seven seven right here. We're moving the ball, you know, uh, pretty well again. Trying to, trying to get him in motion and... Uh, not not really a bad matchup, I, I should say, because the, the Bengals got a very, very good uh, uh, run stuff defense. You know, they do it. Maybe not there, but the Bengals are a very tough team to run on. You know, they hit hard. They're very weird and uh, definitely a, a tough team to, to run the ball on. So I was hoping to go on ahead and hopefully be able to pass the ball successfully, hopefully get that bump. Pro Remember, guys, prospect never does anything good if he catches the ball it's because i placed the ball perfectly if he drops the ball that's because he's an absolute bum if i throw an interception it's because it's his fault and if anything goes well it's because i placed the ball perfectly if everything goes bad it's, it's prospect's fault so um you know uh, I, j I just definitely try my best to give the ball to the user because to me that that's that's what's more fun than trying to you know throw it to the computer all day so uh, you definitely see me handing the ball off more than usual. And they know it's coming. You know what I mean? They, they know that the biblical wonder Chunky is in our backfield. They know our game plan is to give the man to my to my, to my main man and, and see what he does. You know? So, uh, no surprise. They started stacking the box. And, and still, I still want to give him the ball. You know? That's just how, how it is I do. I want to be able to give the ball to the user. You know, get everybody involved and, and, and have some fun. And uh, hopefully we can just go on ahead and, and do that. So, uh, with Chunky running the ball, you know, fairly fairly well for them. Pretty much expecting the run because I, I predominantly just ran the ball here. He's, he's doing pretty well against the, what I like to think is a very good run-stop team. Like right there, you know, I, I hit him with the skinny. And that's the play you want to be able to use the wide receiver and undercut it a little bit. So those throws can be risky uh, because the computer doesn't really attack the ball. They just kind of keep going 
at their you know two o'clock route instead of breaking down to like a five o'clock and undercutting it right there bad throw by me just absolutely bad throw by me you know third and 16 just trying to make a, a, a decent read get rid of the ball and unfortunately i end up throwing an interception not only was the interception it was a pick six and can't blame nobody but myself actually i blame prospect that bum because if maybe he didn't disconnect maybe i would have been able to find somebody just just maybe just maybe so uh, nonetheless um here we go right here we end up throwing the ball really quickly to the flats right there to chunky and again i, I just want to give my man the ball as much as possible right here he kind of gets clogged up behind his own lineman and we get stuffed right here it's like yolo yolo we go deep up top and bang now the only time he can control a receiver is if i come out in five wide and a running back is not on the play that that's the only way because there's no running back there i'm not talking you know um what well, yeah i won't even let you do that so i'm right um there has to be a five wide play and there's no eligible running back on the field then he can go ahead and switch his players that was the only way and i kind of figured that out well not figured that i knew that but i kind of reminded myself that way too late since the fourth quarter uh field goals are in effect right here we go to the top we go to chucky he is the outside he ends up scoring a touchdown what else do you expect what else but a touchdown from the biblical beast himself chunky chunky's an astronomically biblical beast man that guy i'm telling you man team play it's so much fun, man. If you guys have not already, uh, check out the live streams, man. We've actually been doing this uh, every stream. It's a blast. It's really fun. The only thing that sucks is that you get disconnected. That definitely sucks. I, You know, people hate when they get disconnected, you know what I mean, because they look forward to actually playing the game because it's extremely fun. And a big run right up, the, right up the middle right there. And it's just a blast. I really enjoy the team play. I, I have a blast doing it. Uh, right here, we go off sides on a PAT. And, of course, they're going to go on ahead and accept. And it brings them on the one-yard line. And then, uh, right here, they decide to go for two instead of taking a PAT. And they don't get it. So, they kick the onside. We recover. Now, them only having one timeout. Technically, we can just go ahead and take some news. There's nothing they can do to stop it. But that's no fun, right? Nobody wants to end the game like that. Not on team play. Not when you're just out here just to have fun, you know? Um, so, we end up running the ball, giving the ball to Chunky. They call their timeouts. And, uh, again, with no timeouts, they cannot stop the clock at all. So give the ball to Chunky, and of course Chunky doesn't go down easily, baby. He falls for for like eight yards, and uh, right here we call a play, and uh, we get stopped. Giving them enough time for one play, they would just need a miracle at this point, which uh, they kind of do get, but it's not a touchdown. They catch the ball, but no touchdown. So that's the end of the game, guys. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. It was incomplete, anyways. Uh, as always, prospect is a bum. Chunky is an absolute Chunky, the real MVP. Two games in a row. That means it's biblical. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the gameplay, man. I love each and every single one of you guys. Messy boy GS, and I am out. Peace. Get it, baby, baby, baby.